Hello and welcome to another edition of uh, Face Off. Uh, today we're looking at something um, outside politics. And uh, I, won't, I won't tell you who my guests are until you understand what we're talking about today. Um, who should claim the creative work of music? It's a question seeking an answer in the music, in the Nigerian music industry. A music producer works in the studio assisting artists to select songs, coach, control and supervise the recording process through mixing and mastering. At the end of the production, a beautiful music is birthed and sometimes a top of the chart song is released. The artist on his side bests the idea, the music idea, the melody, and mostly the lyrics. He or she is also the face and the voice of the song. Both parties work together for success. However, when the royalties, yes, that, that's the issue, the royalties, money is the money is, and fame starts rolling, the conflict of who should flow or where the money should flow begins to arise. By the end of this presentation today, uh, with my guests uh, of both pros and cons, we hope to initiate a process for settling this issue and possibly um, legislate or set up a, uh, a process that would lead to a legislation in answering the question on who should claim the creativity and reality of music. It's a tough one. I have two guests in the studios. I'll introduce them quickly. Uh, to my right is OJB Jezreel, a music producer. Welcome to today's show. Thank you very much. Um, and to my left, I have a rave of the moment. She's an artist, a songwriter, a singer, and everything. Are you a marketer too? Uh, she, she's, she's Zaina yes. Agoro. 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 I got that. You got it. I got that. I got that. So got uh, they are smiling. I hope we will smile till the end of this show by the time the issues of money begins to. That's what we're going to be talking about. That's what we're talking about on tonight, tonight's show. Uh, we'll take a quick break now. When we come back, it will be time for my guests to begin to tell us who actually should own the right to music production or music, a song in, in, a, in an album. First up, this week, I have two guests. The, the problem here is um, about money. I should, I should put it mildly. Um, where should the money go to as far as um, reality is concerned in Nigerian music scene? OJB, producer, you've produced a lot of artists. Yeah. Tell me what you think about this. Well, I think that um, if you look at the way it happens in, you know, developed countries where the structures are properly established, you find that the guys behind the scene actually make more money than the guys you see in front, you know. And um, suffice it to say that if we're expecting that uh, a chunk of that money should come to the guys behind the scene, um, I don't think we're asking for too much. Because you find that at the end of the day, even if the artist sings, creates the songs, or whatever it is they do, they go back. The team of people behind have to sit back to make sure it comes out perfect. You know, so, okay. I mean... So, you know, you are the guys that go out there, concerts, gigs, you are the face that everyone knows. You get up, put your hands in the air, everybody, and you want all the money. Why do you want all the money? <laughs> money makes the world go round. Um, no, um, jokes apart. You know, it's, it's a very delicate uh, topic. And being on the other side first before moving back home, I, I, I think I'm in a decent position to understand how it works. Um, naturally, somebody has to have a voice and a face to any material. So, you know, uh, royalties need to be shared in a way that makes sense, I would say. What would that be? Um, 70, 30, 80, 20, <laughs> really, 90, 10, 50, 50. It is so much more technical than that. That's the funny <laughs> thing. You know, overseas, let's just take U.S., for example. You're talking about cents. We're not even talking percentages. It goes down. Let's say you're making, um, let's say you're making $5 for one, for one song. Now, out of that $5, they're breaking down. The producer will take 10 cents every time. The writer who wrote, you know, Lagbaja Line. Yeah. takes it, it actually gets that technical so left to me i don't even think really it's it's an argument between producer artists and writers it is the legislation that needs to come in to put these things in place so that how we, does it work right now since coming back <laughs> you are the guys that take all the but that's why these guys don't happy you, 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 you know the way it works you. right now is <laughs> he it's said like, i tell you it's not happy. And you know the way it works right now is <laughs> I, not happy. I go to ojb studio yeah and i say 